Okay, so let's see diagnostics for demo. Okay, so we're going to select the Honda as our example vehicle. You can do a bit of a health report on the car, which obviously since this is a demo, it'll have like a example, um, you know, this is good, but these systems are wrong. So I'll say like the ABS is okay, but ACC is bad, PGM is bad. And you can check on each uh, system to see what the error code is. So let's say if we go to back to the cruise control, you can see what the fault code is. And you can uh, see it's C1102. You can search up what the code is. And it actually pulls up Google <laughs> and searches up. It actually shows you like videos on how to fix it. Actually, I wonder, I wonder why, while I'm here, can I? I you know, let's have some fun. Okay, real quick, I, I know I'm uh, taking a bit of a tangent here. I just wanna see if you can play videos on this. It's an Android device, so I expect it. Yeah, it can. There's no volume on it, though. So I, I assume... Oh. Or you, or you can. No speaker on it, though, so... I think that's all we're gonna explore there. Yeah, so... Um, what does help do? Okay, so I think this because this is a demo, it doesn't really say much. But the fact that it gives us the the error code and also gives us an easy way to just directly look it up is pretty nice, pretty convenient. I mean, back what we did with the old OVDs was we just got the error code and then looked it up on our phones, but this kind of removes having to look it up on your phone. Uh, you can also clear the fault code, which you, uh, which is useful for if you already replaced the part and you need to reset the sensor. Um, you can look at the part numbers. Um, there's also special functions which depend on the component. So you can uh, do some uh, some special things with each um, component. For example, like with the headlights, you can turn them on and off. And this gives you instructions on how to set up each special function for what you're doing. Looks like we're doing a demo of a, a Honda Accord 2017. So it looks like the, what is this, tire alignment? No, radar unit. Okay. And it kind of guides you through the whole process of doing this all on the hardware. And then it tells you when the process has been completed. I'm not sure what data stream does, so let's just take a look at it. Radar height. And it gives you a live view of whatever information the engine, uh, the the compute, the car computer is giving the OBD. So I'm not sh I'm not sure if the radar height would be fluctuating this much, but this is an example. Um, let's see steering angle yeah so you can also see a graph of the uh, these uh, this data over time could be useful if you're trying to uh, see how changes happen over time you know maybe your car has something that that's wrong with it that only happens after a few minutes 
but only it, that problem only uh, starts to show up after quite some time. I mean, that's, that's just the health report. There's also a, a little system scan you can do, which does a full system scan. Uh, and what? Tells you a lot of information about each system on the computer. Sorry, on the car. Uh, like I mentioned, you know, the ABS, the braking system. I think here, you might be able to actually yeah, well, if, if you want to see these actually demonstrated on a car, definitely go check out my next video because this is kind of a limited... You, there's a lot of the bi-directional part which shows you uh, like actually making changes to the car. It's kind of hard to demonstrate when you don't have this plugged into a car, so go check that out. And similar, similarly, you can uh, look at specific systems, look at their special functions, things like that. But anyway, yeah, this is pretty nifty. I feel like uh, an OB we've, we've used OBD quite a lot in the past, uh, OBD scanners. And so far we've had a pretty simple one that's kind of like pretty tiny. And all, all it does is just give us error codes. So this allows us to do a lot more troubleshooting and diagnosing with um, a lot of the problems that our cars experience. So if you're a backyard, sorry, if you're a DIY mechanic, this is probably a good tool for you. The range of uh, options it gives you to troubleshoot and diagnose uh, common car issues is pretty large. So I, I definitely foresee this being used a lot in our fut in the future videos. Um, so go check out my future videos on this and that'll be all for this video. It's already been quite a long video um, with not much to really show. So I'll see you in the next video. I'm Aiman and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and look at the videos on I and Aiman. Um, you can buy this on Amazon again for $170, we'll link it in the description and comments down below. So go check that out, and I'll see you then. But for now, I'm Ayman, and signing out.